Hey everybody, so I'm not really big on introductions, so I'm just going to jump right into this. Uh, in this video, I will teach you how to play the song DLZ by TV on the Radio. Uh, like most other TV on the Radio songs, it's pretty simple if you want to like emulate it or kind of mime it on an acoustic guitar. Uh, there's just three basic chords that you're going to have to play. And I learned these from a tab that I will link to. Um, and this is the way that they were originally played, then I'm going to show you an easier way to play them. So it's a very simple pattern and as I said there's only three chords but it goes uh, A flat minor which is yeah, I don't really like it because it's it's a you know it's a really bar sort of bar chord it's very annoying to play and there's not a lot of easy ways to play it on the guitar I mean you could do it in the, the D position up here and that's minor so you have to go like that but it's it's the same thing it just doesn't it's not very good to play but Again, in the original, it's going to be A flat minor for two measures, and then E for one measure, that's E major, and then B major for one measure. Okay, so you can play it like that. Again, that is the tab where I learned how to play it, which I've linked to. Um, but I prefer a different sort of method, and that is where you capo it on the fourth fret. Okay, and all it's going to be, this is much easier, I think, is uh, E minor which, when it's capable, is actually the same thing as uh, A flat minor, and then you're going to play C, which is the same thing as E, because this is E, right? So that's technically an E chord. And then G, which in this case is also going to be B, because that's a B note. So instead of A flat minor, E, B, you capo it on the fourth fret, it's going to be E minor, for two measures, and then C, and then G. And you can play this however you want. You can just strum the chords. It's not complicated, or you can you can finger pick it if you want to make it sound a little bit cooler. Um, I like alternating between the two, but it depends on what you like. And it works out like this, so. Congratulations on the mess you made up there. Trying to reconstruct the end of it. Oxidation is the compromise you owe. This is to get a feel that the dog was saved. She repeats that through the entire song. Uh, there's that part where he says Death Professor a couple times, and in the song the music stops. He just says the words. Uh, you can do that if you want, in which case you'd stop playing and then do the next part, but it all depends on what you like. And see, that is exactly the same as this, it's just that this is harder to play. Another thing I like about capoing it is you can put it up here and do it in the original key, but if that's a little harder to sing, if you want to do it differently, all you have to do is move your capo down, say, to the second fret, and play the same chords, E, C, and G, so you don't have to worry about transposing anything or any of that nonsense. So, that's about it. It's pretty basic. It just follows that throughout the entire song. Um, play it however you want. It's all up to you.